All right, so how you guys doing today? Hey, welcome to Ungodly Geeks. I'm Joe. How's Luke? And um, we're talking about uh, things today, as we are wont to do. <laughs> um, we're going to start off with a news story. Uh, news is stupid. Bud Light is offering free beer to any alien that makes it out of Area 51. God damn it. Um, it's just yes. kind of insane. It, like, it's incredible. Uh, and this is not from, like, a random small time news like site. Yeah. This is coming from fucking CNN. Oh yeah. CNN reported on this. Um, Anheuser Busch, the maker of Bud Light, initially posted on Twitter, "We'd like to be the first brand to formally announce that we will not be sponsoring the Area 51 raid." I love that. Oh, thank you. Um, <sighs> and then of course, just to acknowledge it makes me happy. And then, you know, of course, they backpedaled and, uh, and screw it. it. Free Bud Light to any alien <laughs> that makes it out. Did they say screw it in a it, press release? No, on oh. Twitter. It's all Twitter. Oh, Twitter. What? I, well, fuck. Um, it's all Twitter, of course. So screw there you it. go. Free Bud Light to any aliens that get freed from Area 51. The company, we even went so far as to create a label for its Area 51 special edition Bud Light. Um, it's like. It's like, I hate it, but I love it at the same time. Like, he has to give it this. I hate you, but I love it. Oh, God. This is this is dumb. And you uh, guys can look for this, right? Um, There's like, just one catch. Hold up. This is, greetings, Earthlings. This is a famous Area 51. It says at the top of the can, we have no, no space beer by any other life form which is brewed in age to be more refreshing. Our cryogenic aging process... Our, sorry, our cryogenic aging produces a light-bodied space lager with a fresh taste, a crisp, space clean finish, lager? and a smooth drinkability. <laughs> Take us to your leader for drinks. <laughs> oh, no. There's just one catch. Anheuser-Busch is asking for 51,000 retweets to make it happen. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm just, I'm over this shit. And I love it. they have 27.5K retweets. Yeah. So, um, I was uh, talking to friends of mine the other day about the Area 51 bullshit. I had to retweet it. I'm and, sorry. And I did mention um, Monster and other brands. So we were talking about Monster specifically, but they need to get on advertising with yeah. this. Yeah, right. Um, because it's one of those things that is so stupid. It's so that easy, it's gained it's so much. so like, easy. And even it's if Monster releases those or, or not Monster, I'm sorry, um, Budweiser releases those like Area 51 edition beers in stores. Good. Like, there you go. You've got you've got that meme, which is it's going to be dead soon anyway. But you still have that. You can kind of ride that wave a little bit. That's one of those things. That's even so if they big. only release like 100,000 cases. It's one of those things that's so big, even we talked about it. Like, exactly. Every, everybody's talked about this. There's over a million people. At, like, I, to me, the meme died when it went from just, like, a couple, like, haha, um, like, a couple celebrities did it, mentioned it, like, posted Instagram posts about it, um, and then it was this flood of, like, all these celebrities. It's like, okay, at, at, it, now the meme is dead. It's gotten to that point. Like yeah. I was like, I, I, Ellen DeGeneres is going to mention this on her show, and that is when memes uh, officially yes. die. Ellen DeGeneres, the show mayonnaise and room uh, room temperature tap water go to watch when they want to feel edgy. Yes. So I was, I, I'm like, it's dead, but at the same time, an advertiser, a, a, a like monster, Bud Light, whatever. They can ride this for a while. Especially Monster, It's right? cringy, but Monster should release a fucking, a new flavor, like an <clears throat> alien, or just an old flavor in a new fucking Area 51 edition can. Yeah. I get, though, they have to tread a little carefully, because if there are stupid-ass people who do go to Area 51 and run at the gate, oh and Monster is seen as a sponsor of the Area 51 thing, then, you know... They could actually get into some legal trouble. I, I They'd know. have to add disclaimers and things like that. But I still would love to see when it all goes down. <laughs> I want to see it happen. I do. Like someone. I want a monster truck to that. be parked there and giving out free monster like they used to do when they were advertising new flavors in Ann Arbor. Uh, they'd do it on the uh, U of M campus. I just I want to see. I need I need this to happen. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't fucking know why. It's one of those things that's so stupidly absurd. Uh, 
it needs to happen. It's just I think what's gonna what's gonna happen now with how big it is. Obviously, I still the the whole actually running it. There's gonna be some dumb people who probably do, mm-hmm. but I think it's gonna be a massive fucking party. And I mean, the, they're meeting up at the one of those alien tourist attraction things. I I forget what it was. Which if those are the people that started all of this, fucking hats off to you. You're geniuses because you are gonna get yeah. so much business on in September. But uh, even if they didn't, those people are gonna fucking make bank. But I think it's just going to be a massive fucking like street party in, at the like right at the edge of the desert there. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's in the middle of because people desert. are going to show up to see. At which point, you if monster fucking starts rolling up like a street crew and starts selling cans or fucking gives them away for free, that's massive advertising. Yeah, Kyle showing up punching holes in the walls. Yeah, the people <laughs> coming in just dressed up as aliens and shit. I think it's going to be just a fucking huge party. This could turn into a like a real um kind Dang. of like like uh, woodstock or something. woodstock yeah. exactly burning man burning man woodstock that's like the uh the fucking extraterrestrial burning man for weebs because everyone's naruto running around there could be yeah it's a combination of weebs furries <laughs> uh alien oh God, no pe- like alien, alien enthusiasts yeah like a, a whole combination of uh it's gonna be awful i think I mean, it'd be awful and amazing i want to go fucking try like shrooms and go <laughs> it'd be great take your hits ass and go hang out in the desert for a little while <laughs> just like Woodstock uh, why not <laughs> you know that actually sounds amazing I'm looking at a picture right now because I'm browsing reddit mm-hmm. to try to I don't know why I just do this I do these things uh-huh. um, and it's a picture that someone posted to our tech support gore which being a tech I, I enjoy watching yeah. Um, it's captioned, my client was warning why they were getting a BSOD, and the picture is of a Intel Core i9 processor with some thermal paste on it, as oh, you put God. on there. No, no, that's fine. Oh, You're okay. supposed to put thermal paste on it. I'm just waiting for it to be like, they've covered the entire board in paste. No, the dumb fuck put the uh, sticker that you're supposed to put on the outside of your computer on the processor <laughs> itself. <laughs> Ah, yes. Nice. Um, you don't you don't do that because those stickers are not known for uh, transferring heat very well. In fact, they are known for melting um, at the temperatures say, that CPUs typically it's get just to. Cooking that sticker on. Yes. Um, uh, <laughs> I just I don't I don't I don't get why people are allowed to do things. That's... This is why. Like, if I ever. Um, went into text back into tech support this is this shit like this that would make it so that i always had a job yeah like there is no amount of automation that could fix that <laughs> that can fix people just being dumb as shit i never i never used the uh knowledge that like i should have because i you know lazy motherfucker i'm spent my whole life to being a lazy asshole but yeah. Or at least not working, doing what I should to fucking get ahead. But uh, I still remember a guy talking either to my class, Sunday school, something. And he talked about the fact that uh, he's a roofer. And the fact that they don't redesign a better roof is what keeps him in jobs. Mm -hmm. Businesses that have the big flat roofs, those always get leaks. They have to literally be changed out like yearly and fixed. And he's like, the fact that no one has come up with a better idea means that me and my crew, my his, he owned the business, they stay in business. And that always was like, oh man, yeah, I, I get that. You know, if there's somebody has a problem, you just be the person to fix that constant problem. You'll be in a job, but <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And tech support is one of those places that it's forever. Stupid people are gonna do dumb things. Yeah. My, I had to get out of tech support though, man, because holy, holy I had, fuck! Like when I'm getting screamed at on the phone for oh, shit yeah. that I have zero ability to control, you know. So here's another um, so business tech support. No, um, God, this is almost cheating, mm-hmm. but I have another news of stupid that I just found. Florida man masturbating in Walmart parking lot grabbed officers behind during arrest. <laughs> Let me just feel it. <laughs> oh, 
Um, a yeah, I mean, man. when you see Florida Man, it's yeah, it, it is cheating. It's just. But this one was one of those things that was so absurd after I just got done yeah. talking about Area 51 beer. And this is like, I how am I going to top that? And then I find this story about. Florida Man holding beer. <laughs> Um, a Florida man who was accused of masturbating in a Walmart parking lot grabbed a deputy's buttocks while he was being arrested, saying, let me just feel it. Trenton James Rich of Pensacola was detained last Saturday by an officer from the Escambia uh, County Sheriff's Office who responded to North Navy Boulevard Walmart after just after 4.30 p.m. after a complaint was filed about indecent exposure. I'm going to be honest. When we see an article title that says something like Florida man... Uh, fondled officer's butt after being caught masturbating in a Walmart parking lot or however it was stated I, there's no more there's no need to read an article <laughs> it's just it's just that it's just it's, it's all you need right there the 19 year old suspect who was listed as homeless in jail records allegedly made a number of lewd comments to the officer and received his arrest before attempting to flee the area uh, um it almost reminds me of that video of the guy who's mocking the bail officer the whole time, or security guard, whoever was arresting him. And yeah, you're talking about in the uh, in the parking lot, and, like, uh, who? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? That's great. Hold up, hold no. up, hold up. The same day in Escambia County, a 55-year-old Florida man was arrested after being accused of leaving his naked wife at the side of a highway before setting fire to her vehicle. How pissed do you have to be? <laughs> what is going on in Florida? How pissed do you... The guy in the parking lot masturbating that, that I could chalk that up to one of those... Yeah, the, it's Florida. They have the open blah, blah, blah. But the dude's fucking... Get, get out of here, bitch. Give me your clothes. I'm setting your fucking car on fire. What the fuck? Like, what is this shit, man? David Allen Moore, 55, of Pensacola, was booked by deputies in Escambia County Sheriff's Office at roughly 10, 10 p.m. on charges of battery and arson. What the Jesus fuck Christ. Oh, my God, Florida. It's it's like the gift that keeps on giving, and the the gift is oh my just shit. God, what... <laughs> what florida why you know why because it's hot as dicks all the time there are mosquitoes humid it's humid as hell there are hurricanes fuck it why not coke coke old people yeah coke and old yeah coke i mean what is that they got miami the coke capital of the world mm -hmm. i'm just god damn all right so we got through that. That was uh, <laughs> that was interesting and fun. Oh uh, man! Reminds me to never visit Florida ever. I want to never in live here. in Florida ever because, wow. I um, mean, I'll go vacation in Florida. It's just you just gotta go to the vacation the vacation parts of Florida and stay away from the rest of Florida. I mean, Florida is basically what all old people and Jews or some shit. Is it's, that is it's that a how the joke goes? Jews, yeah. And then the other half of it is like super, super redneck, uh, swamp rednecks. Right. Oh, and yeah. then Miami, party city. Oh, man. Um, Cubans in party city. Just what the fuck, man? God, Florida. So fucked up. It's crazy. It's, and, it's one of those really, really fucking weird states that could be split into like three different states. Like there are people, too, who try to make the claim that like... Oh, it's just because Florida has the open public law book thing where the all that is public. I think that's part of it, but it's um, not. That's that's not. I don't think because there are like four other states that have that. You don't get, but you this don't. Many. You don't hear about those other states. You know, like some dude jacking off to a moose or something. Like you don't hear that, right? Because I think like Montana, Missouri, and like one. I don't know. Well, you don't hear stories of like in Montana, somebody throws a Wolverine through a Wendy's drive-through, <laughs> <laughs> like, a fucking badger, yeah, yeah like, like, like an alligator or something. Well, that's shit. what I mean. In yeah, Florida, like, you get there throwing alligators through Wendy's <laughs> drive-through windows. They're not doing it with like badgers or wolverines or like fucking rabid squirrels, Even gerbils. Like, yeah, like, you know, you they're know. not. <laughs> guinea pigs. Some guy in Montana throws a guinea pig to a McDonald's drive thru because like his bacon cheeseburger didn't have enough bacon on it. Like I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you know what, to be fair, that's pretty valid because bacon's amazing, but it's like come yeah, on. I'd, I'd throw a gerbil at somebody for smaster bacon. <laughs> I'll fucking dare you. <laughs> Rabbit gerbil. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just bite him in the face.
I just I like God, dude. This is some dumb Rabbit shit. Rabbit attack man. gerbil. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I want a I want I want a rabbit attacks gerbil now. So yeah, I'm gonna have to find a way to make that happen. All right, so Luke, we had um, you you had an actual legit topic to talk about. Yeah, I was thinking um, not, so not dumb shit like what I just came up with. <laughs> not dumb fucking dumb dumb shit. Not dumb um, Florida man shit where the guy is naked in the win- in a Walmart parking lot, which is pretty normal for us. It's a knit, but like. yeah. So before I think, I think we did this back either right after the second Avengers, like Ultron, maybe Civil War. Dude, uh, I don't keep track of the shit. We we've do done uh, it. Just I remember us doing it. We did an oh. episode where we were talking about like the MCU, right? Where we expected to go, uh, and I thought. That now after Spider Man is being the the final Phase Three, I believe movie. It's now yeah, we're officially like quote unquote in Phase Four. Phase Four. Um, and the end of that movie kind of setting up, just twisting the MC or the the not the end of the movie with the the uh, credits, um, kind of like throwing everything on its head. So um, obviously, if you haven't seen Spider-Man, the end, you you've probably heard what the end credits scenes are now. So we're gonna spoil it anyway. But just in case you got a chance to turn us off and finally go fucking see the movie you should have seen a week ago, you assholes. <laughs> uh, but uh, we've got some movies that are confirmed, and oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna look up a list of the confirmed movies um, that are coming out from Marvel. But the ones that I know of off the top of my head, um, you've got Thor, four just or Thor, yeah, Thor four just got confirmed. Right, Taika With Waititi Taka, yeah, is Taka coming Waititi, back. Man, I, I love that because his oh, humor is so amazing. Good. Just that—that that was the first thing that obviously I wanted to talk about, and then this topic popped into my head that we can hopefully use to like get a whole episode out. But. But just just that news was made me so happy I yesterday mean, or two days ago when I heard it. Given the chance, we could make a whole episode about the naked Florida gut man and Walmart jacking off. So I mean, I would not want to though. <laughs> what I'm saying is, this is a capable thing. This yes, is something that could happen. Worth talking about. So yeah, we can we can do this. I this believe matters this. to us. God damn it! Uh, but I just I oh my god that news made me so happy because. I don't know. I figured Thor wasn't going away after uh, uh, Endgame since right. uh, we knew Cap and Iron Man were gone. Right. At least, you know. I mean, yeah, Iron Man they, died. Spoiler it's not fucking like, alert. Yeah. Um, it's not like they are around and, you know, they're still there, like right there, whereas mm-hmm. Thor is. And I thought Chris Hemsworth, I thought his contract was up too, just like Downey Jr.'s and Chris Evans. But I guess he must have continued it or something because Thor 4 Taika Waititi is confirmed now right um, he We're just went to hang out with the Guardians which yes. is awesome I'm hoping he's in Guardians 3 I'm I really like that's one thing I want is I want Guardians 3 another movie that's obviously confirmed for yep. phase 4 and we're getting want, fucking James Gunn back to direct it yeah James Gunn is writing and directing yep I want Thor 4 and Guardians 3 to be direct sequels to each other. It doesn't matter which one is which. Yeah, whichever one is first. I'm assuming because I I think James Gunn still has to do um, Suicide Squad before he comes over to do Guardians 3. So I'm assuming that probably Thor would be before that. I don't, you know... I like James Gunn is a great director. He's a great mm-hmm. writer, but I don't think even he can save Dumpster Fire that is Suicide Squad. I think he can simply because he's just going to not pay any attention to the first movie. I can only hope they've that's already what he lost does. Will Smith, so I think he's just going. And Idris Elba is going to play play a completely new character. He's just going to go. Okay, this is over here, and now we're restarting everything. This another fucking completely off topic but same thing that i think jj james is doing with star wars i hope so and i want to i want to talk about something i watched at the end of this episode because it doesn't have anything to do with marvel but uh either way i i really want these movies to be like like literally thor 4 is or, or guardians 3 whichever like i want to see both of these directors play with the other character yes like i want taika watiti to do a movie with the guardians and i want jj abrams to do a movie with you thor mean, you mean they, and, they, uh, james gunn both 
James Gunn. Yeah, yeah, James Gunn. No, sorry, I said J.J. Abrams. Yeah, James Gunn to do a movie where he has access to Thor and fucking Groot or Thor and um, uh, Korg and Meek. Yes, because <laughs> that's the only I only see them as like still being. They might have stayed on Earth, but maybe not. Maybe they decided to hang out with Thor in yeah, space. No, yeah, like or it just cuts back to them like doing something on randomly. Earth. Like Thor's like, damn, I wish I had me here. Like, uh, I wish I had Korg with me. And Korg is just sitting there playing fucking Fortnite or whatever. Hey, man. <laughs> I, like, I, think, I think he'll be in it because Taika Waititi is going to want to play a character. Oh, yeah. No, because, I mean, he did the voice for yeah. Korg. And you know he's going to want to do that again. Because uh, shit, you, you can tell he has so much fun with it. Cause oh, my just, God. He's just so throwing funny. out those, those jokes. And those jokes are great. Because his humor is great. I love the way Korg delivers his lines because they're just so even keeled. <laughs> and that's, that just adds to their amusement. Like how he can deliver those with just straight face. It's just I love it. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, and I think that always helps with the humor. And I definitely want to see that. Yeah. Like, God, I want to. I want to. Now that you've said that and I've I've. I'm a little more awake than I was an hour ago. It's like, yes, I want to see this. This needs to happen. I want to see them both get to play. It's like getting to play with someone else's toys. Yeah. I think it would be just fucking great. It would be. Like, no, you're absolutely right. Like, oh, God. Unrelated, but I just thought about this. I need to go get some liquor. <laughs> <laughs> I need some booze. I need some. I need some something in my system. I um, think, um, granted... I Thor is a bit overpowered right. when it comes to like being with the Guardians, but at the same time, they made Thor work with Captain America and Black Widow, right? And the rest of the Avengers, which I are mean, not okay, anywhere Cap- near, and and Hawkeye, a guy with a bow, a chick with guns and tasers, and a guy who's like a strong and barely strong enough to lift a car. I mean, to be fair with with I mean, Captain America actually does have he has some powers, some chops. Least. Yeah, like the other two are just they're just really highly skilled humans. Like there's yeah. nothing special about them. But um, Cap is probably like Gamora is probably at Cap's strength or maybe even stronger. Right. Um, Drax is probably close to Cap's strength level, at, yeah. at least in the comics he is. MCU we haven't really seen him show. No, we've just seen him do a lot strength. of silly shit. Yeah, which Dude, I enjoy. Uh, Groot though is pretty fucking awesome so Groot's up there but but there's not he's he's worked well with less powered characters before so I hey fuck it I could see him yeah no it's, I could see it's it working out fine it could, it could totally work yeah it'll be fine uh but yeah that's that's I I, I want to see that I want to see fuck I just them hanging out in the ship I want to see talking. Fat Thor again <laughs> I I would like them to like have a nod to Fat Thor, but I think I said in the chat when we were talking about it, I want a montage of Thor doing like '80s workout tapes that for some reason um, Peter Quill has, yes. <laughs> like or using like an '80s like I I can only think of the Ab Master, but I couldn't find an image of it, like an '80s a really crappy '80s as seen on TV workout machine, <laughs> like a crunch thing. <laughs> to get buff again and then after like a short montage ripped chris hemsworth walks out you know i gotta say though in in the in that movie i'm so glad that when he like he got his his hammers back and and, yeah. his, and the axe back and he sat there and re-armored himself that like he was still fat he was still fat for yeah they didn't just make it go away i loved that so much that 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 made me feel good. <laughs> I I like Fat Thor. I'm not. I, I don't. I don't. I didn't hate it like some people did. I don't want to see a whole movie with him as Fat Thor. <laughs> no. No, I'm least, not saying at that. Least not I just lazy. I want to see. I just want to see Fat Thor again. Yeah. Because it's not something you would expect. Like he's a Norse god, right? Mm-hmm. Like you wouldn't expect him. He him drinking beer is something that's normal. You know, they sit there and they drink mugs and mugs of ale. So yeah. you're not going to expect Thor to be fat, but then that's you a go, good point. You but know. you know, a diet. Well, he wasn't even in America. He's probably only eating fish. Oh, he was up in like Norway. Yeah. So no, I, I don't know. How did we get fat Thor? Like I was going to say, how make a joke get... about th- Thor eating McDonald's? Well, no, no. I mean, like it, it's it's like well, all right. Fat doesn't make you fat. Sugar makes you fat, right? Because I get that. You, you can't burn sugar. But off at the quickly. same, we're talking Norse god, and there's a lot of sugar in beer, isn't there? Well, yes, there are yeah. a lot of carbs in beer, but like, there's also going to be even more carbs in, in mead. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Which is what he's used to drinking, so it's like... 
I well, who who knows? Maybe Norse meat doesn't have the carbs. Maybe you know. <laughs> that's maybe why right. they're all ripped. <laughs> maybe maybe it goes the opposite way. And exactly, it's, it's a magical urn brew that makes you ripped as fuck. Because I mean, I didn't see a gym or anything in the Thor movies or work workout. Yeah, equipment. but they're also you know, they're all soldiers. They're yeah. all con- they're all soldiers. Constantly they're constantly battling, cattle, you know, constantly training. Thor's all about glory until he realizes that's not how you become worthy of Molinir and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then he gets depressed. <laughs> <laughs> and becomes fat Thor. drinking alcoholic <laughs> Thor. Oh, my God. That, that, you know, that was fun, though. The whole, um, the whole him being fucking drunk all the time. I don't know why. I just like that. There's I, liked, I like the humanizing they did of Thor in the movies. There's beer Specifically in... The yeah, the beer. <laughs> when we leave. <laughs> oh man! Um, Specifically, the uh, like between Ragnarok and uh, uh, fucking and yeah, the, the, whatever the Avengers movies, they uh, <laughs> they game? with how bad Infinity War with how bad the first two Thor movies were. At least the second Thor movie. Was I mean, pretty, the first yeah, no, the first Thor, the first Thor movie. Um, it was I okay. give props to because you know they were still getting their feet wet. Yeah, they were still like figuring out where they wanted to be with it. So I don't hate it. Mm-hmm. It's it's watchable. Whereas Dark World, I don't know what the fuck they did with Dark World. They just, I think they, they realized the that Dark character, World. the way they did Thor, where he was kind of getting used to human stuff and not being the V and Thou kind of character but it still wasn't working <laughs> no and then finally when they in ragnarok when they completely took a hard left from that yeah it was like a hard right from that or hard whatever what you want to say yeah like they, it finally they they, it finally clicked because taika watiti went oh no chris hemsworth is actually really funny i'm gonna let him be funny yeah and it makes this character who you you think is going to constantly be like ah. Oh, I am powerful. I am Thor. You know, it makes it a lot more entertaining than a boring ass character like that. You're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> yeah, you're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> God damn that! The movie fact that good. he's sitting there talking to a skeleton. Just yes, like... <laughs> as he's just spinning. Are, are you there with me, buddy? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and then when he gets like tight, and yeah, when he drops down out of the cage, and he's sitting yes. there trying to talk to Surtur, he's like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Oh, uh, there we go. Yes, he's, he's waiting. <laughs> he's slowly rotating. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I got, I'm so tired. Yeah. My but, brain does not work right now. But we know we got Thor. We know we have um, Guardians. We've also got uh, Black Widow. Uh-huh. And the Eternals. And I, the Black Widow movie is still... Uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Where do like, you go? What do you? Are, yeah, like, is it a do prequel? It? It's got. To, it's gonna have to be right. Or do you, they do something where I mean, like I, like I said before, they took the stone back. A, 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 yeah, they have to put the stone back in its reality, right? That's the whole thing. It's, right? Yeah, it's not. To, it's not just necessarily you have to hand it back to who had it, but it has to go to its reality. So maybe they just went to Vermeer, and the Red Skull's like, but. You, you have the stone. What are you doing here? And they're like, we're just, I'm just going to leave this right here. We're going to put this back. Or Cap, well, Cap did it. So he probably punched the Red Skull in the face at least once for old time's sake. I mean, right? And then yeah. set it down. Hey, he goes before me and he's like, hey, how you doing? And then oh, Red Skull's guy. standing there, like, he, after he fucking picks himself up, is like, he gets to travel through time and I'm stuck here. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. And, like, kicks the stone off the cliff. <laughs> I don't know. Like, like it, 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 it. I guess it just doesn't. It, it doesn't matter. But you'd think something would go wrong. Like because yeah. realities, like the main reality's fucked. The stones are gone in that reality. All it it was a different reality, but that's still her from this reality. Mm. So does she come back? I think her movie, if it's not a prequel, it's going to be like allegedly the Loki TV show is going to be Loki fucks around with time and just travels through realities. I think her movie might kind of be similar. Maybe it's her trying to get back. I don't know. Maybe like, 
It could be that she's like in the Soul Void or whatever the fuck that place so, like, is. Like, I mean, hell, they could do it a prequel, but like it's her almost like memories she's going through. Yeah, maybe. In the Soul Void. I don't know. I just, I think she's coming back. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it is just a pure prequel, but I don't know why you write Black Widow out at this point. I mean, why keep her at this point, though? I think you, I think because you've got, um, she, sword, shield in space, basically. You've yeah. got. <laughs> Space Force. Yeah, Space Force, which is its it, sword is a is a thing. It's shield in space. I know. It's just, it's just, I, just, <laughs> I did not even fucking put the Space Force, but that's even better. So it's Space Force now. <laughs> um, I could see Nick Fury looking for her. I mean, she could join that and be like, oh, so now it's space. Okay, cool. That's uh, I, that's kind of interesting. I I don't know. I, I'm I'm down with her coming back. Uh, up. Like I've said before, I don't like prequels. This is one I'm fine with, though, because I'd like to see her backstory. Let's, let's see what what's all that red dripping from her ledger. Yeah. yeah. The the thing is, the, I like I like the red from her ledger staying ambiguous. Yeah. I like uh, this is Budapest. Budapest, you and I remember Budapest very differently. I like that staying ambiguous. I don't right. need. I don't. I don't feel the need to see Budapest. Because whatever they do is probably not going to meet what I can think up in my head. Right. It's not going to meet your expectations. Exactly. Because they set those expectations yeah. so weirdly high by just leaving it Ambiguous. unknown. Yeah. Yeah. It's why I'm kind of like, because even if they did go big and Budapest was an alien invasion nobody talks about, watching that would be like, that's dumb. Why would, in the nerd, there's no Avengers. And it's almost like how Captain Marvel kind of was off a little bit that it was so universal. Yeah. And then we have 60 years where nothing happens or whatever. Yeah. Or not 60 years, but like 40 years. A number, no, 10 years. Like, that was in the 90s. You have years and then you get Tony Stark. I would say like 20. You could yeah, probably argue 20. 20. Yeah. And then you get Tony Stark and they treat Tony Stark like, oh my God, I can't. Like even Nick Fury's like pretty amazed not maybe maybe i guess maybe he wasn't that amazed but it just seems like it doesn't necessarily kind of fit it seems it's an afterthought type thing it works but i don't know it's just it's kind of it's it's kind of frustrating yeah um so whatever they do is not it's it's not gonna quite live up to that yeah it's why it's why i don't like prequels period it's why i didn't want i don't the solo like a movie. Boba Fett pre prequel or something it, like that. It's just dumb. That that I give more because I don't know Boba Fett's backstory at all. Yeah, but I don't, at the same time, it's like leave it to where it, he's apparently so badass that Darth Vader's like, "Hey, chill out." That's true. I yeah don't I don't want to see like why did he get that title? But his is super super vague. I mean like um Solo Han yeah, Solo. Right. I don't need to see. I never need to see the um the the. All the shit he did, I can't even fucking think of the uh, the twelve parsecs. It doesn't whatever. matter. Like I that, didn't need. I don't. I didn't need to see that. Anyway. Yes, but I didn't need to see why and how and what. He ran for twelve him. miles in twelve miles. <laughs> no I shit. Did, that's how it works. I, I didn't need to see that. I didn't need to see how he won the Falcon. I didn't. I. I know that. I. What I get in this movie is perfectly fine. I don't need to see that backstory. Yeah. This is the same situation where it might be okay, but that's probably as good as it's gonna be. If they show those points, yeah. if it's completely like it doesn't show Budapest, there's not there's not a bunch of her being a fucking evil assassin stuff, the Red and the Ledger type stuff. Then maybe it's it's yeah. like, oh, OK, that's yeah, a little bit better. Maybe. Hell, the end of the movie could be like uh, we have a new mission. You're heading to Budapest. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fine. But I don't I don't really need everything else. I don't need to see Clint say like bringing her from the brink and flipping her from being uh you know an evil assassin uh russian uh, uh, assassin i guess into being a shield agent i don't i don't care to see that it's yeah. cool I, I it happened i'm sure it's great it's awesome i just don't need it doesn't need doesn't need the story told yeah it, it really doesn't like it's just kind of like all right that's cool yeah whatever i mean if it's in flashbacks something like that fine Right. But it's still that still falls in the prequels too. It mm -hmm. still falls in under the it doesn't matter, we know it happened. Yeah. There's no stakes. We know this character survives. And if she's got a best friend who's helping her out through us, chances are that person doesn't survive. And we already know that too. Or if Clint is with her, 
Well, g- guess what? Hawkeye survives. Yeah, right. <laughs> we already know that. If Coulson is in the movie, if Nick Fury is in the movie, whatever. It's like uh, Maria Hill, whatever agents. I don't know. Uh, I, that's one. But as far as the MCU as a whole, um, we've talked before. Are they going to add Galactus? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, there's stuff coming out now that's like rumors around Deadpool. And how they'll add him to the MCU. Um, the first article I saw was one where they were talking about uh, the rumor is that he's going to show up in the next Spider-Man, but he's going to be teased throughout the Marvel movies, which if you're going to bring him in, I think in a Spider-Man movie is a perfect way to do it. Right. Um, since they kind of have a, they, they have a lot in connection in the comics. However, the source from that and the like them quoting it as rumors yeah it's not it's, it's not very good yeah, yeah it's not anybody that typically has like insider uh information or anything like that and then just after that there was another article that was talking about like you know how it, the Mar- uh, disney is having problems deciding how to get deadpool in the marvel universe which i mean yeah i completely which that yeah. seems more like oh actually it was the the director uh, that one actually is a better article in, in any case, but it's, um, yeah, no, I, 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 yeah, I, I hear you. Uh, David Lynch has crazy ideas for a third Deadpool movie, uh, but it might not happen with Marvel. Um, I think, I think they'll let Deadpool have his own third movie. Probably. Oh, I think me. that's more likely than them shoving him into the MCU personally. That would be, yeah, probably. Um, I, I think he he's probably best to continue his own, yeah, his, his own little thing there, and maybe later down the line you can figure out a way to throw him in. That that's one thing like we've said before. It's good about how vague the Deadpool movies are, and even with the, the really the only thing they have is that little tease where the door opens and you see the X Men and then they close the door. Right? Yeah, that's the only tease that he's a part of it whatsoever. Um, and keep so it's little, vague like, enough. Keep sprinkling it like in his movies, like exactly. That. And well, like, and then the helicarrier, in... which wasn't a heli- wasn't a shield helicarrier. Now it could be a shield helicarrier very easily. You very much could be that way, yeah, because it's all owned together now. Yeah. Um, moreover, you know, if you're gonna have Deadpool pop up in the MCU, don't actually have him pop up. Have like little hints or cameos, like you said, mm-hmm. like. Like someone looking at a newspaper and like in the corner of the newspaper, you see Deadpool or something like. like yeah, you could do different ways like that. Like, I still uh, think you start seeing stuff and they've kind of already done that, at, at least in the with the Netflix stuff. Mm-hmm. And then in the it, very little in Age of Ultron, they kind of mentioned that there are um, metahumans. metahumans. Yeah. And I, like I said, the Netflix stuff did it better because they acknowledged mm-hmm. that they're appearing more. Uh, more often especially in jessica jones because season exactly. two that's that's what it's all about it's mm-hmm. like the entire fucking season is about other metahumans yeah it's not very it's not a stretch to see after that they start they change from metahumans to mutant mm-hmm. uh but in any case i do think they've kept it big enough where he could pop up i think whenever whatever they end up doing with deadpool however they bring him in or even if they keep him separate he should be the only one that realizes he should be the one to realize that there that it, there was a merger that things changed <laughs> that there is this big thing holy cap you guys can afford uh x-men now <laughs> yeah They're like he, he's like oh we got a budget now <laughs> I, I I wanna I wanna see him just like talking about Disney the same way uh that uh John Oliver talks about AT and T owning Time Warner now <laughs> where he sits there and rips on AT and T's phone yes. service and stuff like, Yeah, I got you now, business daddy <laughs> <laughs> Like I wanna see that, like, you know you know, daddy like daddy Disney bucks daddy or something Disney. like yeah. I I don't I hope they would let them do that, at least in the Deadpool solo movie. Yeah. I don't think they'd ever like, green no, any of that not, in, uh, in not, Marvel or not the, not the in, actual in like MCU, Spider-Man no, or anything. of course, but like, but I want to see that. I would hope that they would, they, they would allow that. It's just Disney's one of those companies that sometimes has these random arbitrary yeah. rules about yeah. like, no, you can't badmouth Disney. You can't. How dare you? How could you do How that? How could you? No, you can't say daddy. You even, know, though, um, even though the, the Disney heiress went undercover into one of her parks and was, oh, and was fucking furious by the treatment of the yeah. workers. 
Which, looking at Bob Iger like, get your shit together, dude. Yeah. <laughs> this is terrible. You should be ashamed of your fucking self. Is he over... He's over Disney. Uh, he's a Disney CEO. Disney, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's funny. I forget sometimes that he's over all of Disney, not just the, the media yeah. part. Because yeah. he never... I never... I never see any reports of him referring anything to the parks and stuff. Yeah. Which feels almost feels completely separate mm-hmm. until you start talking about the uh like the Star Wars theme park and stuff. Right, like that. yeah. But uh yeah, I don't know. I, I would love to see at least a nod where Deadpool shows up and he's wearing Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> which is apparently something they wanted to do in the Deadpool in Deadpool two and then they ended up not doing it because Fox was still the, the merger hadn't right. gone through yet and Fox was iffy on it. Yeah, um, which I mean, I completely kind of get kinda, it. Yeah. yeah, I would love though. Yeah, he comes in and fucking wearing Mickey Mouse ears, or that's how he's like teased in Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's just sitting there, eating, like throwing popcorn at the mask. How fucking he does with the mask on? Yeah, bouncing off in Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> See, like humming, it's a wonderful life. <laughs> That is very much uh, in line with his character. Yeah, I, I could see that happening. That would be amazing. Yeah, I, I kind of want that kind of tease. Um, so fucking Spider-Man got his identity revealed, man. That's yeah, heavy I, shit. How, how do we think that's going to affect things? I, they always, Spider-Man has to get kicked all the time. He's never allowed to have a good day. No, he's not. Like <laughs> he's always kicked whenever he's whenever like anytime, he's up. Anytime something good's happening to him, it's like you never is like, yeah, fuck you, buddy. And the thing is, and this is something I didn't even think out think about. We we pointed <clears throat> out that as far as legal, like him being wanted as a criminal, should be fixed in five seconds. Right. Yeah. All absolutely. they have to do is is uh, whoever's in charge either not shield anymore but whoever's running those satellites comes out and says no that's not the case blah 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 it doesn't help him in the court of public opinion because like we've seen with alex jones there's always people who will believe the dumbest shit and there's always people who won't see the next article they only pay attention to the first thing like the big story it the the story that oh no spider-man is innocent that'll never reach as big as that is that news that first news blip that was shown in the movie to be projected at fucking Times Square and everywhere. Right. Like this special broadcast. Uh so there's always gonna be public opinion is gonna be negative, even more divisive than it was before. Right. Um but somebody pointed out that that's like solved in two seconds as well if he just goes and like talks to Doctor Strange. Yeah. <laughs> or like uh well Yeah, pretty much just Doctor Strange now. There's other characters in the MCU who could go and fix that and just mind control everybody. That's true. Erase that. But Doctor Strange can instantly do it. However, he doesn't have an Infinity Stone anymore. No, that's true. Time Stone's gone gone back. Yeah, all the stones have been placed back where they belong. So So maybe maybe Doctor Strange doesn't have the power to just fucking rewrite that so nobody knows who Peter Parker is. I'm sure he could find figure out something in the uh, the thousands of magic books he has, but yeah, I was I just I love that they're just they finally put that in and it seems it seems even more of a like a gut punch because you're not dealing with a college age Peter Parker no you're not dealing with a a, a Spider Man he's he's been doing it for a few years. But he's still a high school student. Yeah, he's like where, a junior or a senior now. Like he's not he's yeah. still in high school. He's not quite an adult yet. Um our Lord and Savior Kevin Smith, I think he put it where he was talking about like he's he expected at least one more of these high school type movies and then, you know, the next movie we get uh Peter Parker going to college. And however you take that is, you know, however you take it, but he's like, No, motherfuckers, they stole it away right here. They said, Fuck you. And took away all of your ha- all of my happiness. You don't deserve <laughs> it. You don't get it. <laughs> it's like it's like yeah, they kind of did that to him. He's just a fucking high school student, and he's, how the fuck is he gonna go back to school? Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, in uh, August, now that he's fucking is uh, uh, Spider Man. He's Peter Parker. I want to. You know, um, I, I've kind of and it's, it's just a really stupid side plot. Mm-hmm. But like, you had that kid Flash. Yeah. The really stupid one, the rich kid. Like he the, idolizes Spider Man and despises Peter. So yeah. like, I wanna know how his identity crisis is gonna fu- be. Yeah. I wanna see it too. Yeah, like I wanna see the breakdown oh my God. when he sits there and figures out 
that his idol Spider Man is yes. this kid he's given so Spider-Man, much contempt to. I just to. like Spider. He's just a fucking great guy. I look up to him. Fucking what's up, Peter asshole or whatever the fuck he says in the movie. Yeah, like, like it's. Like, wow. Okay. It's like, all right, dude. I love that he's like a fucking uh, a shitty uh, <clears throat> Instagram Dave, Instagram model. blogger, YouTube blogger, oh, whatever. He, he's an uh, influencer. S- influ- oh, so good that they did that in that movie. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I, 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 I think that's super fucking shitty. Granted, that can be fixed really quickly too, because you have scrolls. That's true. Very easily, they could have a news report where it's you see Peter Parker standing there next to Spider Man, and Spider Man flips and f- jumps away. Yep. And Peter Parker is still standing there because it's just a scroll as Peter Parker. It can there be fixed go. quickly. It's not going to make it completely go away, but it's like it you could, guys. I didn't come think on. About, yeah, that that could be immediately fixed. It's just like in the uh, Batman the animated series when they had. Um, uh, Clark Kent. Uh, Clark Kent dresses as Batman. Yeah. And uses, apparently, can mimic voices. Yeah, because he has precise muscle control. Yeah. And oh he my mimics God. Batman, Bruce Wayne's voice, or Batman's voice, as Bruce Wayne is standing there. I don't <laughs> and know I think what you guys are talking about. I think it's Joker who's like, but I knew I saw, yeah. And <laughs> him and... Him and Penguin or somebody. I think it was. I think it was a a, a bunch of villains. I mean, yeah. when it comes to that era of animated movie, Spider Man and Bruce, Spider Man and Bat, or Superman and Batman were yeah. like the same character, just with a color swap. Because like when they were drawn, they were they just they they were all drawn in the same style and shape. Ba- yeah, the basic same yeah, size like, so of like, cells. So. Like they just said, oh, this this could be the spider. This can be Superman in black. This can be Superman in red and blue and yellow or whatever. Mm. Because they they were all drawn in that same body shape. Like every single one of them were drawn in the same body pretty, shape. It was pretty similar. Well, they do mention <laughs> that he was taller. That yeah. he was too actually too tall to be Batman. Um, but nobody noticed. <laughs> Which is kind of hilarious to me. Yeah, but it, it went along. It goes along with that it, Batman. It, this per this thing that comes out of the it's darkness, an idea. It's it's bigger than you. It's it's yeah. no matter what you see it, it's going to be bigger than what you expect or what you what you actually see. I guess. It, yeah. I mean, as it kicks your ass and that, hangs you off a building, that's going, the, where is she? That's the point, right? Like that's <laughs> yeah. the exact point. So, so Superman it, being like two and a half inches taller doesn't it matter. Doesn't matter at all because <laughs> why would it? Yeah. Because it's still this thing that went bump in the night mm-hmm. that, like you said, had you hanging from a roof, yeah. screaming in your face, where is she? <laughs> Which, by the way, I love the scene in the movie where he drops a mobster from that, that balcony, like, mm-hmm. you won't do it. And just drops his ass, oh, like, yeah, this just, fall won't, won't kill you. It won't kill This fall won't kill you. It's like, oh, God, my ankles. So, yeah, like, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> That was great. Um, actually, speaking of Batman, is like a random side tangent. The uh, Batman Beyond show is gonna getting an HD remaster, which is pretty fucking awesome. I can dig that. Yeah, yeah. like like when you say an HD remaster, are they just gonna like scan the things and that, I didn't to 4K. I like don't shit? know. Or are they gonna be redrawing it? Or I, that I don't know. I, reanimating I, it? Like I don't know. I, I doubt they're gonna go through and redraw all those because that's all hand drawn. That's still back when. They they hand drew a lot of the stuff in WB. Yeah. Um. So I I doubt they're gonna redraw everything. But hey, if it looks nicer, fine. It's aspect ratio is better. I mean, ten eighty. I mean that 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 show looked amazing. Yeah. Especially for so its time, like. And they used digital with that show better than most other shows at the time because they yeah. didn't try and they didn't try and like add add um. 3D models and things like yeah, like, like reboot it wasn't over, and like over, overdone. Yeah, like, uh, it wasn't it wasn't terrible it. CGI, um, but they used I know they used a lot of computer generated or, or, or they used a lot of um, the background specifically. They used I don't I don't even know what the term is, but like when he's flying around the city, yeah, there's CGI in there or something like They're that. Pre rendered. Uh backgrounds and something stuff. Yeah, yeah i don't remember exactly but either way it was it, the show was fucking beautiful great story i can't wait for it i'll probably buy it i bought the animated series collection when that came out right yeah, the, can, the yeah. batman animated series so i totally get totally get batman beyond because it's one of my favorites i still want to see a, a michael keaton movie come back as old bruce wayne that would be really cool yeah like like i'd, I'd like to see him reprieve that role mm-hmm. or reprise that role rather because I mean, he, you know, I, just, I like that's one of those movies that 
like you can go back and rewatch and it's still good. Like, still it still holds movie. up. Yeah. Um, compared to literally any movie that came after it. <laughs> oh my God. But, uh, yeah, it holds up really well. Like yeah. despite some, is what it being like 1987 or something like that. And the cheesy effects they had, like it still holds up better than say Batman forever or Batman. Or literally Robin. any of the others. Yeah. Like I said, literally any of the others, even the, the, um, the second, uh, Tim Burton Batman. Right. It's that one's still kind of, uh, it holds up way better than that one too. I mean, and I like that one. I don't have a problem with that one. Right. Catwoman's, uh, the penguin's a bit weird as a villain. Wasn't it Danny DeVito who played that? It was. Yeah, it that's... was. A, he's great as the penguin and perfect casting. But that movie as a whole was very Tim Burton. Uh, Tim Burton is so weird, man. Yeah, he is. Like he's fucking psycho. Really fucking weird. <sighs> okay. I don't know how. What are we? Where are we? Oh, at? we got time. Okay. Well, we still got time. I I don't know if this should be like the last thing we talk about. First I mean, thing, fuck I don't it. Know. Let's. So we're, we're just going everywhere. We're gonna talk. Are about we done with? Okay. We're yeah. done with Marvel. Uh, one quick thing with Marvel, we got the Eternals too. No idea what the Eternals is gonna be because I don't know the characters. I know they have something to do with the Infinity Stones, um, so we might see like the beginning of the Infinity Stones with the Eternals. I just don't. Marvel doesn't typically do un non MCO movies, right? They haven't done that in the past. This that could be like the first one that these aren't characters you'll see again. But who knows? I don't I don't know how they fit into the Marvel universe. Cool. They're they're like elemental power level. So I don't know I don't know necessarily I can't see a way of them to show up. Like if they show up, I don't think they have a problem even beating somebody on Galactus's level unless I'm mistaken. I, I think I they're we'll find out. super powerful characters, but who knows? I think that one's that one's kind of up in the air. The big thing is going to be where do they take Black Widow? Yeah. And then where do we start seeing them add other things in? Everyone's talking about um, the tower in uh, Stark Tower, the Avengers Tower. Now there's signs at the end, the, the end credits, the post credits scene of when Spider-Man's swinging around. Um, there's signs uh, that say uh, at the construction site, like, um, it's vaguely referencing Fantastic Four, like uh, something like like uh, watch out for what's coming, or okay. something like that. All right, like, I don't like, know. Uh, yeah, which I, I maybe, didn't pay that much attention. I'll be honest with you. Oh, I just everybody, you know, people go fucking frame by frame. Oh my for god, yes. <laughs> like fucking, the littlest, like, literal teeny. goddamn magnifying glass. And you know what? Marvel puts the shit in for it, like on newspapers, like you said, like a, t- a headline that shows maybe says something about somebody. They do that kind of shit. So yeah, go if you want to do the the frame by frame magnifying glass stuff. Be my guest because you're gonna catch Easter eggs. Uh, but they, that might, Pardon you know, me. that might it turn out to be um, the Fantastic Four's Tower. I can't think of the name of right now. Dude, I, 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 I remember watching the Fantastic Four cartoon religiously as a kid, and I don't remember a fucking thing about it. <laughs> did I watch I remember the Fantastic more about, Four cartoon? I think I did. I remember more about, like, Batman and, and Superman oh, and yeah. fucking... Uh, Iron Man. I remember the Iron Man cartoon like it happened yesterday, and it was on for like. And it was one season. It was 12 one episodes. season. Twelve. Uh, I remember we looked that up when we I did remember one that more than I remember the Fantastic Four cartoon. Despite the fact that I always watched the Fantastic Four cartoon because the fucking Human Torch was so cool. I I still I mean I even though I love Marvel, and everything they're doing, um, the only two Marvel cartoon shows when I was a kid that really really stuck with me on a level like Batman, the animated series, Superman, Justice League, the only ones that came close were Spider-Man and um, X-Men. And Spider-Man is like barely there. X-Men was the only one that really matched that I can think of. I don't, I can't even think of any other Marvel shows that came close. It's just, they, they, they weren't as good. They they weren't. They just, uh, unfortunately. I mean, when when it comes to animated, DC's had that shit down for years. Oh my God. Decades. They could not, when they did Batman, the animated series, just fucking changed the game. Yeah, seriously. It was amazing. Um, I was watching something that was talking about other animated shows and everything. And and one thing they mentioned, um, and I didn't realize it at the time, Gargoyles was Disney going, we want something on the level of Batman, the animated series. And thinking about it after they said it, I was like, Oh my God! It really Gargoyles was Batman: The Animated Series, Gargoyles but with ba- but like, with gargoyles. What the hell's the main character's name in that? Goliath. 
Goliath is basically he was Batman. Batman with wings yeah, and a tail. He was Batman with real wings. Yeah. And it was that the everything about that show it took place always at night. Uh-huh. It had the like a brooding theme to it. It, it was, has like it was dark. It and... was dark. It was a bit more mature than cartoons you would know you know know you'd normally see. It still had this slapstick and like the oh, humor of course, character. Of course, yeah. I mean, but I was like, I was like, oh my god! It did try and be Batman the animated series. It didn't. It wasn't nearly as good. I loved Gargoyles. It was good. It was, it was not show, Batman good. But it wasn't that good. They couldn't match that storytelling was the big thing. Yeah. That and other than when they introduced like either evil gargoyles or robots, the gargoyles literally could look at any like villain and just pick them up and throw them off a building with no problem because they all had fucking super strength. Yeah. <laughs> like gargoyles, they, they would frequently anyway. like throw matter. cars. Yeah. They can fly, but they you know they turn to stone <laughs> during the day, and if you smash them, they're gone. Which is like such a huge plot hole. I mean, but it was you had a thing you were going to talk about. Okay, so we got off on this tangent here. Um, I don't even want know what drew me to it. CGI, bad CGI. So we're at e- we're at Comic Con time right now, right? Uh, which makes our next episode easy. We'll probably just talk about Comic Con trailers and things that come out. I like mean, uh, yeah. Jay and Silent Bob's uh, reboot trailer was out, and it's awesome. But there's another trailer that got released, and I don't know if it got released because of Comic Con or just bad timing. But okay. there's a trailer for a movie based on the theatrical. Uh, the play, Cats. You know the one where people dress as yeah, no, leotards I, I, and they yeah, put on the fucking the furry, makeup and they the dance furry around. One. Sort of, but it's listen, at least listen, it's a it's, it's a, a, it's a production furry play. It, but it's a it's a play. It has nothing to do with furries. No, and no, it was, I get that. It's I a legitimately it's a legitimately like well beloved. No, play. I I understand that it's a furry thing. Whatever. People They're are dressing doing up as animals. Movie. Yeah, but it's not. It's not. I realize there's not full. If they suits. were in fur suits, it would be hilarious, <laughs> and they'd probably have to constantly, constantly have paramedics there because they'd be dying on stage of of overheating. However, so they're doing a movie based uh-huh. on it, and they're not someone. Why? Someone because they uh, they t- all they, take they all the theatrical like, performances. They did. They okay. Mulan Rouge was successful. All the others. Were successful, I get that. So. I get that. But what plot is there to cats? I'm sure there's a plot. I'm sure there's a story to it. Whatever it is, I don't judge cats. I've never seen it. I don't care. It it survived in theaters long enough that I gotta say, okay, I, I will say there's something to it. But the thing is, someone at the studio who's making this, oh, the director is the guy who directed like Moulin Rouge and or not Moulin Rouge. Um, uh, I know he did the King's Speech and he did other um, plays right, turned right, into. Right, yeah. That's cool. Uh, turned into movies that were Academy Award winning. So, right. you know, really good director. Cool. Yeah. The thing is, someone made the decision that instead of taking the actors and actresses who are in this, who they have typical huge, like Idris Elba's in it, and they've right, got a right, lot right, of right, huge right. names. They've got some singers and stuff. Um, instead of just putting them in makeup and costumes. Which would make sense. because Someone that's how it made the decision of, hey, mo-cap? let's do CGI. They're doing mocap. I'm assuming they did mocap. I would hope they did mocap. The problem is, it's awful. <laughs> it is so the uncanny valley. They fell into it and then kept digging. It is like anytime there is a close up on the face, it is like a bad um, deep fake of the person. They didn't. They. It, it looks like from like. Some of the actors, they changed them a little bit, and they added whiskers. And then others, it's just a human face on this weird, hairy, but not really hair. It, the hair doesn't work, and there's face hair, and it just looks awful. It is so uncanny valley. Like, the main character, who's like a new actress, her they constantly do close-ups on her, and it's just like, ugh! And there's a singer, I don't know the, the singer's name, like, uh, it's sh- whoever, like, when they did that, like, I'm surprised her agent is not on the phone with the studio going, what the fuck did you do? 
this is just fucking wrong. She kind of looks like a combination of like a little, like a, a chimp cat hybrid thing. It looks fucking awful. They, they kept like human noses. So they're supposed to, but they're supposed to be cats. It looks like they might have messed with the cheekbones a little bit. Some of the time, it looks like they did one of those really shitty Photoshop jobs where they take the no, the eyes and mouth and just pasted them on the body, on the face. It's so fucking awful and horrifying. Um, but they have like, and the body, they, they just look off. So this. you you really everybody needs to watch this trailer. It's oh, it's so fucking bad. I'm I think sit here and watch this. I can't. I just can't. Oh, and when it gets to it, like James Gordon, because he's in everything now, he has to be in this. I don't know who that is. He's the late night host, the fat one. Oh, yeah. OK. The uh, the 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 car, you, car yeah. karaoke guy. Yeah. 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 He's in this being LOL fat man. Um, they've got that one uh, overweight <laughs> actress being LOL fat lady fall down. This has got 42 likes and 60 or 42 K likes and 68 K dislikes. Yeah. It is so bad. And of that 42 K likes, I'm sure it's people like, oh, my God, this is so bad. I love it. Like, like, it's just so why did you do CGI? There is no and you'll see it. It really does look like somebody fucking took and just pasted the eyes and mouth and nose onto this fucking face it's so terrible idris elba is in it for some fucking reason oh god when they're when they're like far away it's it's not as bad because you're not you're not seeing the up close like glenn close she's in it and at first the first scene you see her it's not terrible then you see her up close later on it's like oh why why did you do this why did you like what is this? Ian McCullen, I think. Uh, Gandalf is in this. It's just wow. so... Uh, Taylor Swift is in it. <laughs> because uh, cats. Fuck, I don't know. Fuck Taylor it's Swift. It's so bad. She's not that special. I don't give a shit about her. Um, uh, I Okay, well... I have no idea, man. I just go. couldn't take it. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and watch this. Um, I... Uh, I there I was, to, I don't, I that wasn't that. even the thing I was going to mention at the end. I don't remember what it is. Oh, well, you fucking lost was. yourself. I've okay. completely lost it because this trailer, like, as soon as it, 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 it can't, it's like fucking, it, it can't, you can't unsee it. It's so fucking bad. Luke's become a basic white girl. I oh can't even God. right now. Yeah, pretty much. I was, like, reading through some of the comments and I looked at posts on, like, Reddit and there was one that was, like, Someone who's like, hey, as a furry, I just want to say we don't fucking get it either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess the Cats musical, that's the word I was trying to figure out, musical. The Cats musical, there's they don't, they're not um, cats in a human-sized world. Like, yeah. they're not, they're not, like, yeah, too no, small. I get you. Yeah. This movie, they are. And it looks like terrible Alice in Wonderland CGI. That's where it, it fits in. It's everybody should go watch the trailer. It's terrible. All right. All right, guys. We're going to yeah. wind that down there because we've, we've kind of hit our hour now. Yeah. So for the Ungodly Geeks, I was Luke. I was Joe. Uh, have a good one, guys. Fuck yeah. Fuck cats. <laughs> Not literally. Don't do that. That's bad. Although it is legal. <laughs> <laughs> in some states. I don't know. That one's going to be, that one's going to be abuse.